Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Gift Rock, and today we're gonna swap a neck on a bass guitar. Um, if any of you guys out there are at all intimidated by this, it's really super easy, and uh, there's not really much to it. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So to start off with, uh, my friend Mikey's got this jazz bass here. In the truss rod, it turns out somebody was using the wrong size Allen wrench. So uh, it's all stripped out. You can't get the bow out of the neck anymore. So unfortunately, this is shit. So that one goes in the dumpster. And what we're going to get is this. Beauty, eh? It's a nice warmth neck. They make great stuff. If you're ever thinking about throwing a neck on, um, I highly recommend it. Um, real comfortable to play, uh, highly customizable, uh, depending on what you want to order. And uh, yeah, this particular one is made out of roasted maple. Uh, it's got a real nice silky feel. If you haven't played a roasted maple neck, I highly suggest it. Uh, there's a reason they're pretty popular these days. So, something I'd like to point out is this. If you take a look here at the neck joint, here's the original neck, right? Look at this thing, okay? I'm drop it in there. <laughs> look at all that slop. And this is the stock neck, all right? Now we picked this one up from Warmoth, as I said earlier, and check this out. Right? I mean, come on. All right. So, we also gained an extra fret out of the deal, which is kind of cool. All right, so obviously, we started this off by already taking the tuners off the other neck and, um, you know, pulling the strings off all that jazz. It turns out, when we got this neck, it had different size holes for the tuners, so we had to order some new tuners, but actually, I'm pretty excited because there's some nice growers. Uh, we'll give those a shot which should be a fine upgrade from the stock Fender tuner. So, first off, we put our neck into position, right? Okay, we'll go ahead, flip this girl over, like so. Make sure that neck is nice and tight in the pocket like that. And we're gonna take our base plate, put that in position. And, of course, the screws. And I had a screwdriver laid out here, but somebody has taken it from my staging area. One moment. Something to note while doing this, you want to keep good, constant, solid pressure between the neck and the body. Um, with a fresh neck, uh, they haven't had the screws put in yet, and when you're trying to roll them in, you might end up putting a gap between the neck and the body, and you don't want to do that, right? So hold it good and strong, and go ahead and finish up screwing. All right, there you go. One beautiful new neck. Now, next thing we're gonna need to do here is install some tuners. So, pretty simple task. All right, we have a brand new neck here, so it's gonna need a little extra work. All right, we're gonna need to go ahead and drill some holes. Nice new Grover tuners. Those are going to be 
nice. Okay, so the first thing I want to do here is get these tuners into place and snugged up. I drop them in here quickly. Now we've got the tuner. And then there's a collar here. And we repeat the process. Now, when you're snugging up the collets on these babies, um, you don't want to over tighten them. Uh, you just want to get them good and snug. Uh, so usually I'll just grab a socket and uh, you know do it, tighten it by hand. Um, so let's do that now. Like so. Okay. Now we're gonna flip her over. And we're going to want to make sure that all these tuners are aligned before we drill holes for our screws. Right. It's nice, you know, you got those collets snug, so there's a bit of play with some resistance so things stay where you put them. Good to me. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to drill some holes to put these screws in. Now, you want to be very careful when you're doing this because you don't want to drill through the headstock. The one part you probably have to spend the most time uh, taking your time, make sure you do it right. You're really sure be quite pissed off if you got holes coming out the front of your headstock. Okay, so what I like to do is to get the bit, um, size it up with the screws that come with your kit, right? And to get the right diameter. And I like to take a little bit of tape and wrap it around the drill bit as kind of a stop gauge for me. That way I don't drill through and scream bloody murder. So here we go. Let's drill some holes. Drilling some holes, baby. Drilling some holes. 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 It helps if the drill's going in the right direction, too. I mean, just saying. The tape pits? Yes, stop. It's as simple as that. Pretty good. Now it's a simple matter. Putting some screws in. And stub these tuners up one last time. All right, there you have it, a new neck. Now we just gotta bring this baby up. So we'll go ahead and do that. Wow, that's nice. I mean, wow, that's nice. 
haven't even adjusted the neck or anything. Wow, that's nice. Okay. bad at all and there you have it all ready to go Mike's gonna be a happy man with this baby anyway thanks for tuning in do us a favor subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified and you will be thanks a lot for watching everybody see you next time